7.0.0 patch dbd you guys hey guys scott here uh today we're gonna go over patch 7.0 which is coming out i think in uh, a month and a half uh once god dbd um this is it's scott why I, I skimmed this briefly and it seems like the best patch this game has ever had i'm insanely oh, excited god. for it i just read some of it so first off huge bloodlust has been removed um, Bloodlust was a mechanic intended to help alleviate some earlier issues in map design, but most of these problems have been addressed, so the mechanic has been rendered unnecessary. This is something that people have been requesting for a while. The thing is, Bloodlust has been a necessary evil because a lot of maps are so badly designed that you need a basic handicap mechanic to allow you to, you know, be able to down people at certain setups like Haddonfield, for example. Like the House of Pain without Bloodlust is like, it takes forever. So. Uh, I just want, to, just want to point out, Baden Preschool and the house, there's like still really bad buildings in both maps on Baden Preschool and Haddon. So, uh. the fact that they're so confident <laughs> that they fix these maps that they don't need Bloodless anymore is both scary and very exciting at the same time. Um, but let's go on. I'm not sure if I agree with that. Completely designed but it's okay. the loop money system. Uh, the system has been in place for our random map generation for many years, and it was supposed to ensure extremely strong setups could not randomly spawn. Obviously, this was not the case. And we've addressed the value of random tiles in a more accurate manner. For example, long wall jungle gyms have had their strength weighting increased from 1.2 to 2.0 in comparison in LT. What wall does that mean? TL wall, you heathens. Basically, what they're saying is they're now weighting certain tiles stronger than <laughs> others. So, for example, a long wall jungle gym is now uh, more heavily weighted than it used to be, which is good because it shows that the devs are acknowledging that certain tiles are just simply stronger than others and you can't generate maps assuming that these tiles are all the same strength so this this this, this would be a really good change <laughs> making it so that like loops that are like overly survivor overly killer are like adjusted so that they're less op i guess and and spawning tiles we've also implemented checks in place to prevent multiple strong tiles from chaining into each other yep. as the loot yep, yep, system yep. ensures the value is spread evenly across the map that is very good this means that certain notorious setups like the shack tile connecting into several other structures cannot or should not occur. This is still somewhat experimental, so please bear with any exceptions. That is ridiculous. Window into window. Look, look, look. Let's have another window. <laughs> You you have a map like Supple Pit that has five like LT walls. You connect all five LT walls and you never get caught. Supple Pit is a is a mess. The effects of the per kindred has now become base git. In our ongoing attempts to bridge the difference between solo queue and survive with friends, we hope the base or reading of kindred will minimize the gap without imposing too much additional power to survivors. The per kindred now grants all survivors an eight percent increase in generator repair speeds while the killer remains within 12 meters of the hook survivor. That's interesting. I don't, I don't really know if it's a good idea that if someone's hooked, you can see where all the other survivors are. Because wouldn't the gens go by really fast? I guess that's the point. If the killer's camping, then then just do the gens and everyone gets out. Dude, that would actually not be that bad. Benefits it punishes camping. All, yeah, that's not bad. It'll benefit solo queue players who frankly kind of get screwed over quite a bit. The gens will go by way faster though. Like people will solo gens a lot more. Games will go by in four to five minutes if this were to be a thing. Now, if like, you know, you see a Bubba uh, face camping the guy, you the actually all get a generator a speed increase. Uh, if you're actually using the perk kindred rather than the baseline feature. That's actually pretty interesting. I kind of like that change. So it de-incentivizes camping because they'll do the gens even faster then. That's interesting. They need to adjust gen speeds oh. if they do that though. Trust, uh, all hooks in the basement are now considered to... uh, skirt hooks. This one is... That's a pretty obvious one. I don't know why they didn't that to begin with. It's like the basement that's supposed to be like the worst place be. to be hooked. So I think by default, they should be skirt hooks. So that's a great change. Uh, oh, yeah, this is huge. Uh, boon totems cannot be relit, uh, relit within 60 seconds of them being destroyed by the killer. This is needed. So this makes it actually kind needed. of worth it to destroy now. You know, go five seconds needed. out of your way to break a totem. I think it's a good idea, especially when you're in like a, a smaller three gen setup. Not being able to reset a totem for a full minute is um, pretty significant. So... Um, I still hate boon totems, but I think we it's a pretty that. good concession. Um, so that's not oh. bad. Uh, Self-healing okay. speeds have been capped. This is literally like I made this. Uh, you can no longer have more than 100% increased self-healing speed by any means. This means you can never heal yourself faster than 8 seconds under any circumstances. Now, 8 seconds is 100% increased speed. 
So that's still like Circle of Healing. You still get the full benefit. I think it just means you can't stack Circle of Healing and a green med kit and body knowledge and like all that shit now. So that's great. I could not have asked for anything better. Added a concede match feature. Here. This feature may be used by survivors when a survivor disconnects or dies within the first two minutes of any match. All remaining players must agree to the end of the match. This counts as a loss for the survivors who receive 3,000 concession blood points. The killer receives blood points equal to the remaining hook stages left on all survivors in the trial, and the game is considered a win for the killer. This feature may be used by the killer after five minutes of match time if they have under five hook states. This is intended to be a genuine concession, not an I give up feature. So there are some requirements in place to ensure players do not give up too easily. Should this, this should also apply to if endgame collapse is in play and he's like yo i'm being held hostage let me give up as well this this also should be used more so as like a yo uh i'm getting f by a hacker and i kind of just want to leave it, it needs that that type of additional oomph but this this makes more sense i always feel so bad when like you know it, it's a you know i, I have someone down with Hello, five gens up and they disconnect and then it's a 3v1 with five gens up like th they can't win that shit. it's impossible so the fact that they can now concede instead of having to drag out a doomed match, that's a really, really good idea. And I'm surprised they haven't added something like this earlier. In all honesty, I feel like that should, should be tweaked. So we're like, if all the gens are done, they should be more based around like, I guess, like how the game has gone like and completed, to be honest. Koga can relate. Dude, I've been held hostage for over 12 hours. <laughs> It's a pain. Added a map ban system for killers. Killers can now select two realms to never be randomly selected. Map offerings can still force the map for either side. This change is intended to help certain killers who are very map dependent and it should not hamper survivors play as survivors are usually minimally affected by the map as their core mechanics are all the same. So I could not instantly banning RCPD every single time. Never playing RCPD ever again. Yeah. Let's that go. Awesome. Uh, perk tiers have been completely removed. Back when we first launched the game, we needed a money sink for blood points, and perk tiers were a good way to do that. Now there are far too many perks to justify three ranks of all of them, so we simply have made all perks their current tier three forms. Enjoy the extra blood points. About time, man. I don't think b tier will do a change like this, because that's part of their progression system. That's the kind of way to get people to play the game and like feel like they're working towards something. This goes against the um, kind of like how b tier keeps their game in longevity. So removing a perk tiers would be nice, but I don't think it, it goes in the best interest of what BHVR has when it comes to their progression system. As much as this would be a nice change, it's something that goes against the longevity of Dead by Daylight as a whole. They could add more prestigious, they Is could. Is actually real? Like, what the fuck? Uh, added additional measures to detect impossibilities done by cheating. While this is not foolproof, these measures should detect basic things like enhanced movement speed or having more than four perks. Unfortunately, it's nearly impossible to prevent all forms of cheating, but this is an ongoing process that we will uh, not stop improving. That's fair. I mean, there's pretty much no game that has no cheating. Uh, I just think it's too easy to cheat in this game, but it seems like they're implementing some countermeasures, which is good. But I do agree with them that at the end of the day, you can't stop cheating. It's like almost impossible. So um, yeah, yeah, maybe, 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 maybe BHPR should add a way to like make the game end when EGC ends, you know, when endgame collapse ends. Or maybe like, you know, if someone is like 200 meters above the, the map limit. Whoa! Maybe they should be automatically banned. Uh, all that, extremely large needed. maps have had their size oh, greatly reduced. Sucks. This includes maps such as Mother's Dwelling and Crotus Print Asylum. Uh, large maps have been problematic for a very long time as they incentivize the very uninteractive run street playstyle many players have adapted to. Very true. Uh, we hope by shrinking large maps, the strategy will not be as effective as players will run into a map boundary far quicker if they choose to run directly straight. Uh, we need to, they need to actually this is that would be a huge change some maps are just way too big you do one chase on one side of the map and the other side of the map they do like four gens it's like okay all right i have done nothing over there you're just freaking they're having like a party uh, many of these changes are attempts do. to address the fundamental flaws that by daylight has had for quite some time we've taken years of feedback consolidated it into these changes that we hope will leave the game in a far more balanced spot damn i completely agree with basically everything on this list a legion uh, post fire fatigue is reduced from four to three seconds. Good, you need that. Um, for each survivor hit during a frenzy, the Legion's movement speed increases by 10% and their terror radius increases by eight meters. Huh. So if you hit like two survivors, then you go 20% faster and you have 
40, 48 meter tear. Oh, so like you, the detection range is increasing. You can get to them faster. In this part of the video, I disagreed with the lesion change. Now that I think about it a little bit more, it's actually quite reasonable. It's actually not that bad of a change. That one's a little too much. No, Billy, remove the overheat mechanic. Just needs to be tweaked. Um, fuck yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so there's add-ons that deal with that, though. Uh, pig house gloves change the effect. The chainsaw no longer collides with the environment. Much like Oni's demon rush. Uh, the restricted turning still remains. This will allow skilled hillbillies to curb around objects in a safer manner. <laughs> Interesting. That's kind of cool for a purple add-on. Uh, and then junkyard air filter. I don't even know what that did. That was probably an overheat add-on. Now I increased 5% recovery speed. All right, so just cool down. That's fine. Uh, after over a year with the overheat mechanic, we found the mechanic to be unnecessary. The real strength of the original hillbilly came from stacking cooldown and charge speed add-ons. So the overheat mechanic was redundant when those add-ons were removed. The only thing Billy needed was a change to his add-ons. When they added the overheat mechanic, it's like, oh, we fixed your car, but we also broke it in a different way. It's like, what the fuck? They should probably do that. It's... <laughs> You should probably do that. They should probably do that. Uh, they, they fix your car, and then they break your tires. Uh, the shape. Stock speed is now increased the further the target is away, rather than decreased. Uh, survivors who have been fully stocked are now permanently visible when the shape is in Tier 3. I, mean, I guess that means their auras are permanently visible. Uh, while in Tier 3, the shape recovers from stuns 50% faster and breaks pallets 20% faster. These effects do not stack with the perks enduring and brutal strength. Uh, we wanted to home in on the stalker aspect that has made Michael Myers so iconic. As such, stalking survivors from a distance will now grant evil within at a far faster rate, as it made no thematic sense to stalk survivors who were immediately nearby. True. Uh, additionally, the more Myers stalks a survivor, he will eventually be able to know everything about them and see their auras while in Tier 3. It is auras. Uh, so we hope these changes will improve the theming of the shape as well as improve their strength. That's awesome. That's actually very similar to uh, suggestions that I've had uh, for this killer. I think, is, uh, very I think this would be a little bit too much. 50% faster breaks and vault uh, pallets 20% faster. They need to, they need to, if they were to do that, they got to get rid of the tombstone piece. Because imagine like a, a tier three Myers instantly mooring everyone with like built in enduring and breaking pallets 20% faster. That's too much. To, they need to tweak stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't hundred percent agree with this one. Like it'd be nice if, if they recover from stuns a little bit faster and pallet breaks a little bit faster, but not that to this extreme degree it would need to get Very tweaked cool. if they did that his his snowball potential would be insane uh the pig the first puzzle box never contains the key to remove reverse bear trap interesting increase the movement speed of the pig by 10 percent while crouching that's significant the roar sound effect now plays once the dash has already begun not when it's starting sorry pigs who like this spam roar oh god pig nerfed uh, Pig has, had a, has been very reliant on luck to perform well, so we've decided to add a small amount of bad luck protection for her. As such, the first puzzle box will never contain the key to let survivors remove the reverse bear trap. Odds remain the same past the first box. This is intended to fix the scenarios in which the pig's reverse bear trap essentially do nothing if the survivors are lucky. Good. Uh, additionally, we have increased the speed of the pig while she's in stealth to incentivize that aspect of her kit more. Previously, she moved a bit too slowly to warrant walking around the map in the crouched form. I agree. If they buffed pig, so the first puzzle box never contains the key to remove the burst of burst bear trap. They need to make they need to actually adjust her add-ons. Because there are certain pig add-ons that kind of guarantee you a reverse bear trap kill, like 60% of the time. Uh this would need to get tweaked. Uh and I think pig has like the highest kill rate in DBD right now, right? Cenobite, nightmare, cannibal pig. Well, She's in the top four, okay? She's in the top four, I guess. They're, they're not gonna do that because she's like, she's like right there, you know? I mean, the movement speed's cool. Sure, this is cool. But this, uh, tweak add-ons before doing that, yeah? It's okay. Uh, Deathslinger. Damn. Movement speed increased to 115%. Normal movement speed. Uh, after removing the instascope feature that many had an issue with, we neglected to give the De Deathslinger any compensation. As such, she now moves at a normal killer movement yeah. speed. I feel like that's a lazy change, but also a welcome one. Like, I think I'm okay with that. They, they kind of like gutted Deathslinger and they didn't really give him that much compensation for it. So adjusting his movement speed so he's faster would make sense. So they, they gutted Deathslinger just because he's not fun to burst, not because he's OP. They didn't give him proper compensation and they should, they should probably, this would probably be fine. Uh, Ghostface, improved you reveal spoiled. logic. This one is fairly simple yet very complicated. All players should be aware of is the reveal mechanic should now be more responsive for both sides. You should not be revealed behind walls and you should be revealed in the open. Yeah. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> okay. okay, wait, 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 wait. Also, make it so that stretched res doesn't fuck with Ghostface, so you can't run like like 
10 pixel by a thousand pixel to reveal over like on a 180 degree angle on the killer and just be like oh look there's like a 20 feet wall between us but i'm still revealing you because i could see you over the wall with my stretched throats you got to change that too survivor perks uh perk balancing left behind in addition oh, yeah. to the hatch reveal mechanic your movement speed is increased by seven percent okay so if you're the last survivor you basically just get hope that's cool technician uh, i shouldn't stack with hope though Okay, you shouldn't stack with hope. The survivor moves at 114, and the huntress moves at at 110. Okay, that's still, move the regression that's, penalty for yeah. missing a skill check. Yeah, I don't oh. know why it had that to begin with. Technician, right now, <laughs> there's you have a penalty for missing skill checks, which was really okay. really weird. Uh, no wither. You now start the trial healthy, but can never be healed once injured. This is a change to no mither people have been requesting for a really long time. So basically, the killer doesn't know you have no mither until they actually hit yeah. you. Yeah and then they see you're broken. That'd be a great so, change. That's actually kind of cool, and you actually can tank that first hit without having the huge penalty. Obviously, the killer's not going to slug you once they realize you have it, but um, you get an extra hit now with them, which is kind of huge. That's a that's a really nice buff. Might actually be worth running. Um, Flip-flop removes the range requirement. I didn't even know there was a range requirement of flip-flop. You heal survivors in the ground 20% faster. Okay. So, so it was like a help your friends that are slug perk, and it's kind of got like a mini we're going to live forever now, so that's cool. And they remove range requirements. It's probably still not going to see use, but whatever. Flip -flop, I don't know about flip flop, dude. He heals survivors on the ground 20% faster. It's just like, he feels like he added this because it's like, it's not used as much. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it would be all right. Okay. This is what they set up there. So, you know, with the kindred changes, decisive strike now becomes disabled when booning a totem. That one was obvious. I think that was more an oversight than an yeah. actual buff or a nerf. That's just a yep, 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 yep. When you cleanse a totem, it's supposed to disable that. So. You're yep. basically cleansing 100%. a totem. Uh, Circle of Healing now grants 75% increased healing speed down from 100%. I think that's reasonable. It's still incredibly fast, but I think that's a, an acceptable nerf. I still hate the perk, but... It's, it should be 50. <laughs> whoa, 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 Let's bargain. Dude, 75 is still fast. 75 is still fast as fuck. I know be a shit. 50. 50. 50, 50, 50, 50. <laughs> and this, this, this... It's the reason. My boon circle of healing is dumb. <laughs> That's dumb. 50. Because it'll still probably stack with medkits, yeah? Well, actually, the, he added a cap, so maybe not. But still, 50. It's still probably 50. DS should actually really be disabled with a boon totem as well. Ugh. Killer perks. Beast of Prey. After chasing a survivor for 15 seconds, that survivor can no longer... Oh, because Bloodlust is gone. They have to change this. That survivor can no longer see your stain until you successfully hit them with a damaging attack. Huh. So that, that was the original duration to get Bloodlust. But now they can no longer see your stain until you hit them. So that means it lasts like the entire match until you actually hit them. So you could actually chase someone for 15, or 15 seconds and go chase someone else and you'd still have it on that original survivor okay that'd be interesting yeah, I, I'd still yeah, that nothing, would, but, dude that uh, i would want this i would want this this is really that's really good because then then you don't need to do that all you know that freaking dance dance revolution stuff that i do it's it's good it's, yeah it's like dance dance revolution perk yeah it makes it so you don't need to do the backwards forwards the predators now scratches you're... are now animated and flow in the direction survivors are running oh cool uh additionally scratches can now be seen through walls yeah that'll actually That'd be, be useful on indoor maps on outdoor maps it's not really going to do much but yeah like losing scratches through multiple hallways and larry's being able to see it through walls now and seeing which way exactly they're running that's nice i like the, that change the thing is the only people that i see running predator are people that are colorblind that i've met in the past this would actually be really nice for people that are colorblind and it actually makes it so that it would be a nice perk to just be that's just good. It's not just a perk you'd be running if you're colorblind. It'd be a perk that's actually pretty decent at tracking as well. So that'd be good. That'd be good. Predator might actually be a useful perk. Be good. Uh, Wall hacks based. Now no longer causes flashlight beams to not thin. This allows it to deceive players who think they're able to blind the killer. Oh, okay. So right now when you have lightborn and you try to blind someone, your flashlight isn't thin, so you immediately know they have lightborn and you stop trying to flash them. This makes it so they think that they're still blinding you, but you're not getting blinded. I actually like that a lot. It actually makes it useful as like a deceptive tool as well. That's really good. Good change. Yeah. Uh, Strider no longer countered. Uh, no longer countered by Iron Will. Okay, so they just reverted that again. I guess because they changed spirit, they decided to change that back. Makes sense. Uh, Huntress Lullaby no longer requires tokens. Always removes the sound effect of skill checks, so you just get that effect outright. No longer causes flashlights to not thin. So this is yeah. You can mind game around it. They don't know you have it. It's pretty good. Strider no longer countered by Iron Will. 
So, so yeah, dude, Strider should. When they nerfed Strider, they they nerfed it because of the because of Spirit, right? And they did all these different Spirit changes. Like, okay, made it so that we added Strider, added Fixated, added um, Nerf Spirit's base kit, made it so that. I don't know about the dust kick up stuff. They did like like six, seven different spirit nerfs, and this Strutter one was one of them. Th they could revert this one now. Um, this the Strutter nerf was because of spirit. They they get like gutted spirit. Now you could revert this smart Strutter one, right? They could they could actually do that. Hunch's lullaby no longer requires tokens. Absolutely removes the sound effect of skill checks. It it takes like it takes like six minutes to get like at least like a couple stacks on it. This should honestly just automatically be like that. If if games last four to five minutes, you're going to get one stack of Huntress's Lullaby and it's going to do jack. <laughs> so it should be like this. Yeah, that's good. I can see that being useful good on shit. a couple of builds. Oh. Uh, bug, wait, bug fixes fix an issue that caused survivors to rarely make no sound while in dying state. Yeah, okay. Yep. Ace. Fix an issue that caused Ace. survivors to be unable to be picked up. Okay, yeah, like when they get stuck on the wall, that's yep. really good. Yep, yep, yep. Fix an issue where Haddon Field Fence. Haddon Field Fence. Hey, <laughs> ah! Okay, dude, 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 that's fucked up, though. Oh, that's fucked up. Everyone, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! It's not real. She with the comments. Pepe hands, dude. The PTB for this one isn't lo downloading. Help anyone? No. Okay, I'll be honest. It made them, when Scott made this video, this is genius, dude. It's genius. He's literally given the developers everything they need to do on a silver platter. Uh, granted, a lot of these need to tweaks. They need tweaks. They don't. He should. They shouldn't go all balls to the walls and be like, "Yo, we're doing everything in this video, right?" They're not not doing everything in this video. They should do like ninety five percent of the changes. Tweak like twenty to thirty percent of the changes. I want the map ban system. I want to not be like held hostage and be able to concede. Um, that'd be good. Yeah, I'll be good. Oh, yeah, I'll be good. They gutted spirit, and now the strider nerf is not needed. So bring it back. Come on. Yeah. It's sad. That this is this is not real. Cause hence, let me let me just do this real quick. Blah 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 blah. Issue where Scott couldn't wake up. Hey, what? Ah, pain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of people want those changes. If BH fear does all the changes like he's literally given them like like what they need to do on a silver plotter 